What is going on, Twintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day, and today we actually got a brand new Super Mystery Dungeon trailer that will probably be the last one looking at it. It's an overview trailer basically explaining to new gamers and people who've never played Mystery Dungeon how to play the game, and it also shows a few new things that I thought is worth talking about. Now, it's four minutes long, this trailer, and it's not too many new things, but I thought, you know, like I said, might as well make a video on it. So what I'm going to do, guys, is let you guys watch the trailer. And then I'm going to come back and analyze it and break it down in more detail. So I'll see you guys in a little bit and enjoy the trailer. Pokemon Touch no Sekai ni Shinobi Oru Kiki. Pokemon Cho Fushigi no Dungeon. Meo Samas to Pokemon ni natte ita kimi. Tadori tsui ta mura de. パートナーと出会い戸惑いながらも楽しくポケモンとして暮らす毎日世界地図を作りたいというパートナーの夢を叶えるため君たちは冒険の世界へと旅立ちます冒険の舞台は入るたびに形が変わる不思議のダンジョン。一番奥を目指して進んでいきます敵ポケモンと出会うとバトル開始使える技は4つ敵との相性を見て選びます仲間のポケモンは自分で攻撃してくれます同じ技を繰り返し使って技を成長させたりレベルアップで新しい技を覚えさせたりできます時には仲間と連携して戦うこともダンジョンには見えない罠が隠されています大量の敵ポケモンが待ち構えるモンスターハウスや強力なボスとの戦いも君を待ち受けていますダンジョンでは様々な道具を拾うことができます隠された罠が見えるようになる目薬の種目の前の敵をどこかへ飛ばすワープの枝離れた敵に攻撃できるゴロンの石周りの敵を眠らせる爆水玉今作で新たに加わった道具ラピス技の威力がアップしたり相手を眠らせたりとラピスによって効果は様々いろいろなラピスを集めてうまく使えばバトルを有利に進めることができます今作ではシリーズ最多720種類のポケモンが登場中にはメガ進化するポケモンも主人公とパートナーも20種類のポケモンの中から選べます冒険中困っているポケモンを助けると。仲間になって一緒に冒険できるように他にも別の困っているポケモンを教えてくれたり新しいダンジョンを冒険できるようになります不思議のダンジョンをどんどん冒険して君の仲間をどんどん増やしていけば伝説や幻のポケモンが仲間になることも世界に起こる異変。次々と石にされるポケモンたちかつてない敵の正体とはそしてこの異変の真実とは仲間との絆を胸にさあ新しい冒険へ任天堂 t e n d 3 d s 
ポケモン超不思議のダンジョン So if you've been subscribed to this channel for quite a bit, you've probably seen most of that stuff. But there are a few new things that I want to talk about, and there was an actual blue and red rescue team Easter egg in there, which is quite cool, so I'll get to that in a little bit. But first off, we're going to start off that some dungeons that were shown off actually had their Japanese names revealed. Now, the only dungeon we know so far is called Foreboding Forest. It's the first dungeon you go in. We don't know any others, not even in Japanese. So if anyone can translate that, I'd really appreciate it. Definitely have a go if you can do it. But don't worry if you can't translate it because you know we'll find out soon eventually. But still, it'd be really cool if we can find out now. Next up, we can actually see just well, just dungeons in general. I think these dungeons are probably the best looking ones I've seen. Some of them look great, and especially that beach one and the autumn forest one looks so nice. In fact, pretty much all of them look really good. But you know, those were the two that stood out for me. Next up, we get to see a boss battle. This is a new one. We get to see Magmortar with a team of magmas. And this is like Weasel's mission, who's in the exploration team, expedition team, whatever it's called. <laughs> I think it's the expedition team. And um, yeah, this is probably like something, maybe Weasel's first mission, you go on with him, and it's probably you know, part of the storyline. It looks pretty good. And it looks like Magma and Magmorta are blocking off a path, so maybe there's something beyond that. Maybe there's treasure, maybe there's another boss. Who knows, maybe it's just a mid-boss, like a mid-dungeon boss, that'd be crazy, but who knows. Um, next up we get to see just gravel rock is in the game. I couldn't remember if this has been like mentioned or not But I literally use gravel rock so much in the game that makes me sound like a noob But it's one of the most helpful items you can get especially like it can literally go through certain Moves say if you're confused and stuff and you you can still throw it and I think if Pokemon protect you can still hit them with gravel rock So it's really really helpful and we also get to learn something new about lapis stones now If you don't remember them, they're basically something you put in the bangle and it basically powers up your moves. So that's all we knew, you know, that's what they were for. We knew they could be like combinations and stuff and power you up, but in fact they actually have secondary effects. So not only do they power up your moves as it first shows, they can actually put foes to sleep and confuse foes. Honestly, not sure how it works yet, but very, very interesting. Probably depends on the color maybe. Uh, next up is something I found hilarious. I'm not sure if anyone noticed this first time around, but I think it's a bottom right. You can see Magikarp as a team leader just like flopping along the floor. It's just hilarious to be honest to see that. I couldn't believe it really. And if anyone could beat a boss with Magikarp, I'd definitely love to see that. So um, next up I'm just going to talk about a few of the Pokemon that were shown off in those kind of four panel parts. So we got to see Palkia, which I don't think we've seen yet. We get to see Gengar behind Gyarados. Very interesting. Probably not the same Gengar obviously from Blue and Red Rescue Team, but it's still pretty cool to see. And we also get to see Greninja, which I think is the first gameplay we've seen of Greninja in Super Mystery Dungeon. Really, really cool looking. I, I, to be honest, if I wasn't going for Monkey Pantrika as my partners in Pokemon, I'd probably go for like a Froakie because Greninja looks great. And we also get to see something new, which I don't think we've seen really in Mystery Dungeon games before. And this is kind of like interaction. So you're going through the cafe here. I think this is in Wai Town, this one, because it's pink. And basically... Why not? has got a problem, so you go up to him and just talk, and then basically you'll go on a mission, and then once you do the mission, you get to connect to them on the connection orb, or basically give you like the connection orb missions to do to get them on your team. Now the interesting thing about this is why not's problem is to do with Primate. Now if you play Blue and Red Rescue Team, you will know that why not had a problem with a bunch of monkeys, and this is kind of like a little throwback, like a little Easter egg that. Why not has got a problem, you know, with like the kind of manky family again. So I thought that was really cool. It's kind of subtly thrown in there. I thought it was really nice to see. And another thing we get to see is a list of Pokemon on the connection orb. Now I'm not sure if this is all the Pokemon you've connected with, because it does say connected up top. And it is in Pokedex order, so maybe this is cycling through to pick the Pokemon you want on your team. There is a possibility and kind of a theory going around that you can make, you know, multiple teams. So this would be maybe you making your teams and like your, your default teams and your preset teams because I think it looks like you can have preset teams which is pretty nice. So maybe this is replacing friend areas so who knows guys and that is pretty much it for this trailer. Like I said not too much new stuff but it was just nice to see loads of new dungeons and to be honest there's not much stuff to break down it's just a lot of visual stuff you can see in this trailer which is really nice to see anyway. And uh, yeah so guys like I said I'm going to be doing Super Mystery Dungeon videos till the game comes out in Japan and then there is going to be hopefully a Japanese let's play on this channel but I won't be playing it I'll let my bro play it so I'm going to be blind for the English version so guys if you don't want to miss that or any other videos definitely hit the subscribe button on screen or down below if you enjoyed the video definitely hit the like button it really really helps out the channel we're going up massively at the moment through subscribers so we're just growing like mad and it's all thanks to you guys 
And if you haven't seen the two previous videos, definitely check them out on screen now. The left hand side is old previous characters returning, so there's definitely confirmation of you know previous characters from like Explorers, Time Dots and Sky, Blue Red Rescue Team, maybe Gates Infinity returning. And then on the right hand side you can see the previous video, which is kind of like the prequel, I guess, of the old characters returning video. This is actually about Groval, Celebi and Dustawar returning because they actually are. It's absolutely mental. Basically, Groval is linked to a pink Celebi on a connection orb, and Dust Noir is also linked to Groval, which suggests, you know, they've come back in time or whatever. They're somehow in the game, I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. But yeah, it's really, really cool. And yeah guys, that is it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day, and I will see you on our next video.